Welcome to another video covering Morgan's best ideas. Uh, we've got a new addition this month with Woodside Petroleum, a company that needs little introduction to most investors being our largest oil and gas producer on the ASX. The reason we've gained conviction in, in Woodside, which is now equal top pick um, with Santos, the other key large cap in the sector, is because of a, a number of fundamental uh, constraints that we saw for the stock or company having been addressed through the proposed merger with BHP Petroleum. So in our view, that the merger certainly uh, gave more value to Woodside in the deal between uh, Woodside and BHP, uh, with BHP more interested in really securing um, a safe pair of hands to hand off this business to, obviously uh, principally interested in preserving its global reputation. Um, and, in, and as well as um, having the simplicity of one single deal to divest all of its global petroleum assets. For Woodside, what it brings to the business is a quite significant diversification, which has been a major constraint on the business. So Woodside up until now has been operating um, solely in Western Australia, which is very concentrated for a business of its size. Uh, so this gives it a, a global portfolio with production out of a long list of countries with existing oil and gas um, output, uh, but principally um, the, the Gulf of Mexico in, in, in the US, as well as Trinidad and Tobago are two key areas we're very interested in. Not only do these um, uh, tier one uh, operations give Woodside significant earnings diversification, but also upsizes um, and, and spreads Woodside's growth profile in a real meaningful way as well. So we really see this as a, an attractive marrying up of, of assets. Um, the, the, the BHP portfolio comes across with quite strong balance sheet with no debt included as well, which um, will lower um, uh, Woodside's existing gearing from 24% uh, down to low double digits, which is, was another key concern for us in terms of how it would fund it, all of its future growth plans. So in the immediate term, uh, Woodside's annual EBITDA or gross earnings increases from around US $3 billion per annum up to 4.7 um, or looking more like 4.9 now after some increases in oil and gas prices, um, a billion per year. So that, that gives Woodside quite considerable um, ammunition in free cash flow while also enjoying the benefits of a stronger balance sheet and a much wider portfolio of growth options to go after um, across the business. So already seeing the stock as undervalued, given the underperformance of our energy stocks versus um, what global oil and gas prices have done, we see now as a great time to add BH uh, Woodside of today to our, our best ideas list.